So if you're familiar with my channel, you know I'm all about free software and open source software. Well, I'm not sure if you knew this or not, but Bitcoin is open source, which means you can download the code, modify it, run your own version of Bitcoin, which lots of people have done. I don't necessarily recommend it, but in this video, we're gonna be using a Bitcoin miner. This is an Antminer S5. It's an old miner. And um, I bought this several, several years ago. I ran it, um, I paid for itself. I paid it off completely just by um, running it. We're gonna talk more about what that, what that means. But since this is an old miner, it's not very efficient anymore. I decided to take it over to my tiny home. We're gonna use it to help heat that tiny home since it's kind of cold in the winter now. So we're gonna get free heat. We're gonna make a little bit of free Bitcoin in the process. Um, and the whole thing's gonna be done using solar panels and batteries. So it's just free all the way around for me because I have all this infrastructure in place. And um, I've been involved in Bitcoin and blockchain and cryptocurrency for a long time. And so I feel like I'm in a good position to kind of teach about this and help you understand what cryptocurrency is, what it isn't, and just have a good understanding of, uh, you know, Bitcoin and what this technology is. So let's hook on the skis. We're going to be going over, um, since it is the middle of winter here in uh, Idaho, uh, there's a lot of snow and I can't drive my truck over there. So we're going to hook on the skis here and uh, ski over. But I'll tie this sled around me and then we'll head on over there. Let's go. it I try to do this uh, trip well not out to here I do about a mile loop I try to do it every day in the winter time for my winter exercise so in the summertime there's a pond out here and I use the solar panels from this tiny home to run the circulation pump for the pond to keep the water kind of clean but in the winter time all these panels are just sitting here not really occasionally will come out but for the most part there's just a lot of extra unused power and so that was kind of my reasoning behind bringing in this old cryptocurrency miner that would otherwise not make any sense to plug in and use because it kind of, at any rate of electricity, it burns more electricity than it produces in Bitcoin. But when I have the free power here seasonally anyway, so I'm actually using two things. We're gonna use the cryptocurrency miner, and then this is a power supply. This is an 800 watt power supply. I think this only uses about 500 watts, so we should be fine. This is a, an old power supply out of a server, but come on in, we'll get this plugged in. So, really, these are take a little bit to get set up. So, any more with the Bitcoin network, you'll be mining what's called uh, in a pool, pool mining. So, you used to be able to do solo mining where you could just talk directly to the network. You still can. Um, but now people, it's really, really hard to actually make money doing solo mining. So people do pool mining, which is what I'm going to do. And so this is already configured. This Bitcoin miner is already set up and configured to talk to the mining pool. Slush pool is what I'm using. So it will talk to them. It'll solve a bunch of these um, math problems that help the cryptocurrency network. And if it finds the right solution, then I split the reward with everyone else in the pool. So this connection here, this particular one has four because it's kind of an older miner, but usually you'll have like eight or 12 of these. This is the same connector. It's a PCIe, I think. It's the same connector that's on a graphics card. And this, this ASIC miner is similar to a graphics card. It does a similar type of computation, but th these cards were specifically designed to mine Bitcoin and nothing else. You'll notice, even though it's kind of a computer, you can't plug in, there's, a, you, there's no USB ports, there's no place for a monitor. All it has is these four ports, which is power. So this is the power supply that I'm hooking up here. And then it has one port for ethernet, for like my, my network internet connection. Um, and I have internet out here at the tiny home uh, via just a wireless link to my house uh, where my internet comes in. So let me grab the power cable and we'll plug this in. We'll get an internet cord and start mining. So we'll just plug this in. And this just goes to a, 
like a network switch for the whole tiny home and then it connects into my network over at my office in my house. So I'm gonna plug this in. This is just a regular, like a computer, uh, you know, power connector. Most power supplies, including this one, will run at 120 volts or 240 volts. So anywhere in the world, you can actually take this setup uh, and run it, but we're using uh, 120. So the way this power system works, we have a charge controller, where, which is this red and black wire here hooked to the solar panels on the roof. And then this converts kind of that variable power, depending on how much sun is shining, it converts that to a constant flow of just over 48 volts, which travels down these wires, and they just go on, hook on here to the positive and negative. So we've got four 12 volt batteries um, in series to give us 48 volts. Um, and then also hooked onto here is this inverter, which changes the 48 volts DC into 120 volts AC in our case. So we can just plug this right into the inverter, or we can also plug it into any outlet in the tiny home since it's hooked in there, but we'll plug that in. We see the lights kind of flickered a little bit. So that's it, it's up and running right now. I can tell it hasn't talked with the network yet because it'll be much, much louder. This fan really ramps up and gets very loud. Oh, well it's starting to get loud now. Um, it can get a lot louder than that, and the newer miners are incredibly screaming loud because they produce so much more heat. But the nice thing about this is this fan is actually blowing uh, this direction. So this is the intake fan. It blows through these metal fins right here. These aluminum fins are just heat sinks that cool down these ASIC chips. And so as these chips do this math problem as quickly as it can, it creates lots of heat, and that heat it needs to be dissipated. So it dissipates on these aluminum fins and then it blows hot, hot air out here. And it's not, I mean, it's pretty, it'll be pretty warm. It's not warmed up yet, but it'll be pretty warm um, heat that comes off of there just like an electric heater. Um, so I'm really happy about this because I'm gonna get free heat for my tiny home. It's not really free because I had to buy this um, and I had to buy the solar panels, but I'm not, I don't have an electric bill to pay now. Now that I have this infrastructure set up, I don't have an electric bill. I don't have to pay off this machine because it's already paid off, uh, which is why I chose to do this. I already had all this equipment and everything set up here because I already used these facilities for other things. So this is just a win-win. I don't know exactly how much this is going to make. It depends on the price of Bitcoin. It depends on how many people are mining. Right now, mining is really popular. And so I'd be, I'd be happy if I got $5 a month. Five, maybe 10, I don't even know with, with the S5. I'm guessing I'll get $5 every month, which is not a lot, but I'm also helping to decentralize this network. I'm helping adding mining power and helping kind of take power away from some of those centralized miners. Although I am participating in a mining pool, so I guess there's some debate about how much I'm really helping there. But I am helping to provide a more secure network in my own tiny little way. I could probably run five of these safely in here the only issue is my battery bank. I'd have to scale up my battery bank a little bit more, uh, which I do have more of these batteries too, so I might do that. But I'm gonna keep an eye on it and see. While the sun's shining, what's going to happen is I'm going to be mining. It's going to be depleting the batteries a little bit, but on a, on a sunny day like this, every time it gets depleted, it's gonna fill back up because I have 4,000 watts of power coming into those, these batteries at any given time, and I only have 500 watts coming out. So what's probably gonna happen is, um, over the night, there's a chance on a, on a really cloudy day, this will only mine until maybe two or three in the morning, and then these batteries will be depleted, and when they get to a certain point, um, this inverter actually cuts off, so it doesn't hurt the batteries by draining them too low. So it'll just stop and shut off, which is fine. I mean, there's no on or off button on this setup, so the way you turn it off is just by pulling the power cord and it's just off. And that's doesn't really hurt it. I mean, I guess it can hurt it. You don't want to go off and on and off and on a lot. But I'm not worried about this machine, you know, having a problem. Now one thing I might be worried about is I have it sitting on a wooden table. This can get hot. This is a wooden wall. So this, there is a fire potential. I've seen these burn up before, start on fire, and it's like a giant burning brick. So that's not very good. So I'll probably um, get some sort of piece of metal and kind of cage this in a little bit just to help 
you know, prevent a fire if that were to happen. I don't have a camera set up in here right now, but I plan to have a camera and maybe I'll get uh, like a smoke alarm or something so that if something did happen, um, you know, I'm not too far. Just drop on my skis, ski over here and put the fire out. But uh, yeah, that's the setup. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I don't know if it's been very informative or not. Um, I'm sure if you're not very familiar with mining, you might have some questions, um, which is why I decided to make this tutorial series just quickly um, talking about a, a range of topics in cryptocurrency and, you know, explaining what mining is, what's a wallet, to, you know, how do I get Bitcoin, how do I use Bitcoin, why would I want to use Bitcoin, kind of talk about those things, um, not because I want you to get rich quick or to, you know, hop on the bandwagon, but because I don't want you to uh, just not be informed, you know, there's good uses for cryptocurrency and I think pe more people should be using it legitimately um, to improve their lives, not to necessarily make a ton of money, but uh, we'll talk about all that stuff later. Thanks for watching guys. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below and I look forward to catching you in the next video.